If you are as into astronomy as we are, there is a great event coming by your local night sky if you're in the northern hemisphere ooh, ooh, ooh. in the next few nights. Now, this comet, Pan Stars, isn't going to come around for at least another 100,000 years. And this is believed to be the first time it's passing through our inner solar system. So it's going to put on quite a show. And from tonight, pretty much for the next couple of nights, you're going to be able to go out and see it with the naked eye if you look to the left, I guess this way on the screen, to the left of the moon, essentially. Look to the moon, look down to the left, and you'll see it. Now, according to this chart, you'll see that the comet is it, its passing by and it's leaving our sight of view. So the next uh, few days, you're gonna be able to see it with the naked eye, but after that, uh, it's gonna require a telescope right. probably to see it. So go out, Check it out. Uh, try to get yourself away from the light pollution in the city if you if you live close to one or uh, if you live um, out in the countryside. Awesome. Just go outside and check it out. Now, if the weather isn't cooperating, don't have any fear. Have no fear because Comet Isos will be passing by Earth and it's going to be four times closer to the sun when it comes into view later this year. I believe it's November when that's going to happen. Now, because it's going to be four times closer to the sun, that means it's going to be burning off a lot more ice, and so it's going to be a big, bigger, brighter trail hmm. on this com on ISOs than on the comet that's going down right now. But the skies are clear here in Southern California, so hopefully you get to see it if weather permits. And if you enjoy space, if you enjoy conversations about space, science, and technology, uh, be sure to subscribe to TDC so you get our videos in your inbox and you can join the conversation with us. Yep, and if you do go out and see it, come back and leave your thoughts in the comment below about the comment. And better yet, take a video with your iPhone or whatever camera you have of it, if it's that bright, and leave it in a video response. And let's see the perspective of this comment from all around the world. Or just your reaction to it. I'd, I'd be great to see it.